the mare's open chases and exits a two mile three foot oh, let's try, try that bit again two mile three furlong handicap naught to 110 and there's a four runners and they're all mares of course so that's probably why we've got such a small field jow julie nosh for daniel french one of those sometimes is now obi one jane burden martin Needham, and gallant gina paul road so swap paul road for alex cherry for the last race and just the four of them this time then let's hope they all get round and away we go and we've got four horses in the race and all four of them are uh, what yellow in their silks at some point or another but fortunately they're easily to be separated because in the lead we've got one of those sometimes he's now for ob1 and then bizarrely in a four on a field we've got two trainers who've got virtually the same colors but paul rhodes has got a red cap on his and his horse is gray which makes it a lot easier to spot so it's one of those sometimes he's now for ob1 in the lead then gallant gina for paul rhodes the gray is in second joe julie knots for daniel, daniel french on the inside is third and jane burden is just the back marker at the moment so already taken the first three and they're heading towards the fourth and one of those sometimes is now he's in the lead and you would think if one of those sometimes is going to be now it would be now because this is only a, only got three opponents today Joe Julie Nosh the top weight is in second as they get over the fifth then the gallant Gina is in third and Jane Bird at the back in fourth is predominantly a hurdler so one of those sometimes is now in front over the sixth and you can see Jane Burden go that plenty of air at the back and he's a couple of lengths of drift of the rest of them one of those sometimes is now is in front from Jow Julie Nosh in second Gallant Gina third and Jane Burden back in fourth may or may not be protecting a handicap mark for next week anyway it's one of those sometimes is now in front Jow Julie Nosh second Gallant Gina third and Jane Burden fourth they're in Perfect Indian file as they take the eighth. All over that one nicely, and now Jow Julie Nosh breaks that file and comes through to join one of those sometimes is now. That one doesn't want to relinquish the lead. And has quickly gone on again as they take the next. Another mistake by Jane Burden at the back. But one of those sometimes is now. Passes the winning post with a circuit to go. Leading by four lengths to the Grey Gallant Gina in second. Jow Julie Nosh third, and Jane Burden. Is the back marker in fourth. And one of those sometimes is now after being briefly joined by Jow Julie Nosh has now gone a good four or five clear. And Gallant Gina's moved into second as they get over the tenth. And Jane Burden jumped that one much better and is getting a little bit closer and probably isn't totally out of it just yet with a hurdless turn of foot to call upon later. But it's not very long runnings in these hunter chase courses the final fence tends to be right on top of the winning post and they get over the 11th so it's difficult to come from behind most of these hunter chases are won by the horse that's leading at the last and one of those sometimes is now is going to be trying to do that gets over the 12th in the lead and leads by three to gallant gina in second jow julie nosh third and jane burden getting a little bit closer in fourth sometimes is now gets over that one in the lead from gallant gina and joe julie nosh and then jane burden getting closer still over the 14th they go Got four more to take and one of those sometimes is now is in the lead from joe julie nosh jane burden sneaking up the inside the gray gallant gina on the outside and you wouldn't want anything out yet as they take the fourth from home and one of those sometimes is now kicks on again and he's still four clear jow julie nosh is second gallant gina third jane burden dropping away as quickly as she got into it turning into the straight then now with three to jump and it's one of those sometimes is now gallant gina is coming through in a second but jump that slowly then jow julie nosh jane burden running on again but one of those sometimes is now has got first run on all of them at the moment he's got two more to take it's one of those sometimes is now but gallant gina jow julie nosh and jane burden are all closing the lead is starting to tire they're racing down towards the final fence and suddenly the lead is down to half a length as Jow Julie Nosh and Gallant Gina sweep on by on the outside over the final fence they go Jow Julie Nosh lands in the lead and the top weight starts to pull away but Gallant Gina is trying to fight back the leader on the inside needs to get going and just held on oh just about I think and the jockey on Jow Julie Nosh obviously aware there's not much of a running but I think was taking things a little bit 
too casually there, but he's just held on to the top weight. So Jao Jury not takes it for Daniel French. Gallant Gina for Paul Rhodes was second. With one of those sometimes is now Obi-Wan back in third. And Jane Burden for Martin Diggle was fourth. <laughs>